Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different and a little bit more fancier than I usually do on my channel. Today we're gonna to do some reverse sear filet mignon. Here are a couple of our filets. We got these from Allen Brothers. If you're not familiar with Allen Brothers, I will leave their information below in the show more section. This is prime beef here, guys. Look at the marbling in here, the deep red. These are just great glistening. These are some great cuts here. And what we did was a couple of days ago, I put some kosher salt on there. You wanna use about a, a half a teaspoon per pound. And these are only about four ounces. So just kind of sprinkled around really good and let them set in the refrigerator for a couple of days. And what we're gonna do to make these a little bit fancier, while I call them filet mignon, is we're gonna take some bacon and wrap around these. But I'm using a new product today, and it's, it's called Grill Pins. And this is a company out of Sanford, North Carolina, uh, right here in North Carolina where I'm from. And the pins that they use are right here. Hopefully you can see that. And instead of you know using two picks and so forth in your meat, you'll use these grill pins. So we're gonna try this today. So what we're gonna do is take some nice bacon wrap around these fillets kind of get it in there real good we may have to use a couple per steak just to make sure that the bacon holds good but we're just going to take these grill pins and stick them right in there and as you can see it holds it you know anything that you need to be held on some meat right there this will be it's a hold really good i think i'm going to put another one on the other side just to help hold it a little bit. And there is your filet mignon, and we will get these on the Weber grill, and we're gonna reverse sear it. All right, we got our grill up to temp. We're going around 250 degrees is what we're shooting for. Put these on the off side of the heat. I'm using my Maverick XR50 today so I can have multiple probes. I'm just going to do three probes today. And these little short probes that come with the XR50 is perfect for these filet mignons. So I'm going to put these right in here, get it right there in the center. And I'm going to do one on this side, right about there. And we're shooting for about 90 degrees internal, and then we're going to flip them. And then we're probably going to go around 135 internal, because I like one more of the medium before we start doing the reverse sear. So I'll see you back when we get to 90 degrees. All right, we've reached the 90 degree mark, so now what we're going to do is just kind of turn these over. Cover these back up, and then we're going for around 135 internal. I decided to take these off a little bit earlier. I said 135, but I meant more like 125 or the 130 area. Again, I like mine medium versus medium rare. So we're going to go ahead and take these off, and then we'll pat them down, get any type of moisture off the outside. We're going to put some olive oil on both sides, and then fresh uh, ground pepper, cracked pepper, on both sides and then we'll get them on the reverse sear. Put these on here and we're going for probably about a minute per side. We'll kind of see how we're looking. So we'll start counting down a minute and then we'll get them flipped over. It's been one minute. We're going to take, spin our grate around 
Take some heat off of the grill, grate. Flip these over. Do this side. Okay, one more minute. We're at another minute. We're gonna flip these over. Get a nice crust on the outside. Oops. Another minute. Go on another minute. What I want to do now is just kind of turn these over, try to get some char on the bacon. We'll get them aside and we'll give you a taste test. Here are our filet mignons. As you can see, the grill pins, they stayed in there. I only had one that maybe come out, but for the most part, they held in very well. Hold that bacon on there good while I was doing the, turning it on the side and crisping it up. So I'm very well pleased with these. Let's go ahead and cut into one right quick. Go ahead and slice it right down the middle. And let's see how we're looking on the inside here. Look at that. Yes, that's exactly the way I like it. Look at the juiciness in this thing. Oh, man. That's that prime beef right there, guys, from Allen Brothers. Look at that. I can't wait to taste it. Man, I'm so excited to try this. Hopefully the camera picked that up. Got some of that nice bacon. They put it on the side there. Let's give it a try. Man, that is so tender. Again, it's the filet, so it's gonna be super tender. Wrapping that bacon around it gives it that little extra touch there with that bacon super juicy again that's prime beef guys recommend this if you can get it go to allen brothers check them out again to show more section below we'll give you all the information as far as for uh, the, the grill pins get them look at that gotta try another piece excellent excellent gotta get you some of this try it simple salt brine pepper you'll have a winner every time if for some reason you're not a subscriber i hope you will consider subscribing to us we thank you for your support until next time god bless